Well, good afternoon, dear friends. I uh, got doing uh, some things today and uh, my attention was taken away, so uh, I am just stopping for a moment in the midst of what I have going on today to, to come to you. And uh, you know what, what has been weighing on me today, um, first of all, uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, just as a reminder, um, we are uh, going to be having Holy Communion in our services uh, starting this weekend. So I invite you to, um, if you are going to continue to worship with us online, uh, to bring those elements around as, as we did uh, prior. And so that you have those when we uh, gather together. Um, and for those that will be in worship, we will welcome you to uh, the Lord's table and uh, together uh, take part in Holy Communion. So I w I've been thinking today about what I should talk about. And I've been kind of anxious today and things just going on and... Um, you know, I, I have other as, aspects of life that uh, took me to do some other things today. And I realized that sometimes we just need to be patient, right? We just have to have patience that things are going to happen. That they're going to happen on God's time. And um, in my travels, I didn't have a Bible with, but I'm reminded... Uh, passage from Hebrews 10, I don't remember where, but it talks about patience. It talks about just being patient in Christ. And I think that's what we need to do. I mean, haven't we all faced that at some point where we want something, we want it now? I think when we're faced with that, we have, we really have two ways that we can look at this. One is that we wait with great anxiety, that we wait with great tension, and the other is to wait patiently for God to do what He needs to do for us. Either way, we're waiting, right? We can wait for the, it's going to happen now, I have to have to have it now, or we can wait and say, yes, God, in your time. And until that time, I will pray. I will come to you. Patience is not always something all of us have, uh, no matter what it is we do in our life. We don't have patience. So I found myself today just sitting for a moment, closing my eyes, listening and going to God and just saying, God, sometimes the things we want have to be on your time, not on ours. Sometimes the things that we want aren't even in the plan. And then ask for patience in life. And so I can imagine that there's some of you that feel that same way, right? That we just need to have patience. So I invite you to take a moment and find a resource or maybe you know passages in the scriptures that talk about patience, but find a passage on patience. Read that. Sit and just thank God for what you have in life and think which path is the right path. The one where we wait with such anxiety and stress, or the one where we wait and say, God, in your time, let it be. I think in the midst of all this that's going on in our world, we need that a little bit more. Whether it's this virus that still is out there in greater need in a lot of other parts, whether it's senseless violence that we have, injustice that we have, whether it's the, the election process that we're going through, whether it's 
the tension that people have about wearing face coverings, about going out or staying in, about who is right and who is wrong. Take time to just sit back and listen to God, to be kind to one another, to be open to each other's ideas, because no one has the ultimate response that is the end all. My opinion and yours may differ, but we need to be kind to one another in that difference. So take time today to sit, to be patient, to open up your mind, to hear God's word. Would you pray with me? Good and gracious God, give us patience. Patience to listen to you, to do things on your time, not on ours. May we know that what we are feeling, our anxiety, our stress, that you can calm all that, that you are the calm in the storm. And God, I, I pray for anyone out there that hears this, that is struggling with letting go and letting you be the force behind everything that the Holy Spirit come to them in their hearts, in their minds. That you be present in their life so they feel that sense of calm. And Father God, I lift up to you those that are hurting today. Whether it's their bodies, whether it's their minds, whether it's their soul itself. I ask that you heal them that you bring comfort to them. God, we continue to pray for our country. We seek peace. We seek health from this virus. We seek calm. May those leaders hear that calm and use that to better us. May we as people stand up for what we feel is right. Let our voice be heard, but know that our voice isn't the only voice. And to hear each other in conversation, not in violence. Father God, as we go into this weekend of celebrating our independence, may we be safe. May we know that this nation under you is a nation of love. May that love be ever-present and shine through. Father God, we lift to you all those things that we just don't know how to say. May we find a moment in our day to sit, hear your voice, feel your spirit to guide us we ask all this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who was raised from the dead, who live among us, who is our King and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, thanks for taking time out of your day to come here and sit with me for just a few moments. I apologize, I didn't have exact scripture to give you, but the message was there. From my heart to your homes, I pray that you have a blessed day, that you have a wonderful weekend, that together you are safe, and that we celebrate our nation's independence. Look here tomorrow for a little commentary on the message for this weekend. And if I don't see you before Sunday, may God bless you and may he hold you in his arms. Take care of yourselves. Until I see you on Sunday, God bless.
Bye for now.